It's a Friday morning in Brookfield, Connecticut. The iron's being hammered, the wood's being turned, the glass is being worked. The craftspeople doing it, though, are all kids. Basically, we are a craft school. Our mission is to preserve uh, and promote uh, the techniques of American fine craftsmanship uh, and to support artists and be a resource for artists. But throughout the year, and especially in the summer, the Brookfield Craft Center offers special programs for budding artists and craftspeople ranging in age from 8 to 16, spending a week or more working in a variety of crafts that are often new to kids this age. And they're so enthusiastic about what they can do. So much so that some kids, like former student Simon Rhodes, have returned to help teach. I was 11 and I took a class of uh, blacksmithing 101. And now you teach other kids. That's right, yeah. I like seeing the kids uh, finish something that they've been dreaming about being able to make. Very nice. You happy with it? Nudging those dreams along are dedicated instructors like David Hine, a retired media professional and expert woodworker. They're making what's called a natural edge bowl. What kind of wood is this? This is spalted maple. And um, how well do they do, generally? The kids are doing a fabulous job. Yeah? A couple of them started at the end of the day yesterday. Yeah. A couple of them started this morning, 9 a.m. sharp, and a bowl happened. The wood shop is located in a historic train depot, one of six buildings, many over 200 years old, that make up the craft center's two and a half acres, all of which was almost lost to development. People from our community stepped in to make sure that these iconic structures and the program that promotes creativity doesn't disappear. That creativity is real, and for many kids, a revelation too. A lot of kids today don't make anything more complicated than a TikTok video, okay? So when they have control over a big, sharp, pointy tool, and they can take a nasty piece of wood and turn it into something gorgeous, of course they're gonna be pleased. All part of a tradition of arts and culture, of preserving history, all amidst the blessings of a rolling green landscape, all part of Upper Fairfield County, Connecticut.